Notre vie, ça a été très en danger parce qu'on n'a pas eu plus vite de sauvetage. Donc on est resté là-bas un jour sans avoir de sauvetage. Il y a certaines personnes qui sont décédées. On a décidé de venir ici en Italie pour chercher la vie meilleure. Donc, quand on a pris la route, on a pris la route de Côte d'Ivoire, Niger, Burkina et Poi Libye. Donc, on est rentré. Mais en Libye, on a eu des souffrances, des tortures, et on a eu des prisons avant de rentrer ici. Ce n'est pas facile pour nous sur la route. Parce qu'il y a des gens qui sont morts sur la route. Il y a des gens qui sont eu la, les blessures, blessures. Parce que les Libyens ils sont les bastonnés. Από το 2011, η ομάδα του Αμπόντιρ ή των ΛΑΣ προσφέρει φιλοκερδό νομική βοήθεια και προστασία σε πολίτε του εξωτερικού, πρόσφυγε και τούντε ασύλου στη Ρώμη. Μαζί με δικηγόρου που εξειδικεύονται στο μεταναστευτικό δίκαιο, η νομική ομάδα του στηρίζει ανθρώπου στι διαδικασίε για αίτηση ασύλου, αίτηση για έκδοση ή ανανέωση και μετατροπή τη άδεια παραμονή, για έφεση συνέντευξη αποφάσει απέλαση ή απόρριψη ασύλου για απόκτηση της ταλικής υπηκότητας, για αίτηση αναγνώρισης ανηθαγένειας και για επανένωση με τις οικογένειές τους. When all migrants arrive, without the distinction between asylum seekers, refugees, etc., um, they should be given legal information on the possibility to ask asylum. Italy as a European country is part of a general legal system uh, wider than the national one that generally protects people and should protect people and refugees. We are part of Geneva Convention, so we should protect people, migrants and refugees. People are free to ask asylum at the slightest chance, so when they want, both orally, verbally, or in a written form. But often is not the case, unfortunately. So what we know that often is the case is that people are kind of separated based on nationalities. So if they, they come from certain countries that are considered to be so-called safe countries of origin from a list that the state has on um, safe countries of origin, they tend to be suggested not to seek asylum because uh, the, the authorities believe they come for economic reasons rather than a persecution or a danger for their life or their uh, human rights. À notre arrivée, vraiment, c'était magnifique quand on est retrouvé la sol. Nous sommes très heureux parce que quand tu, tu es sur la mer, cette situation, donc tu veux retrouver seulement la, les sols. Dès qu'on a retrouvé les, euh, les sols, on est très heureux. Aussi encore, les Italiens nous ont bien accueillis. Donc, ils ont nous donné les nourritures à manger, à boire. Vraiment, ils sont nous bien accueillis. As an asylum seeker, you should get accommodation and material assistance since the beginning, so since the expression of intent that formally make you an asylum seeker. What happens is that the resources are not enough, the money is not enough, the staff is not enough, and the uh, political will is not enough. To live, it's not easy. And then it's encore it's an envoy in a center. Chaque mois, on prenait 20 euros. Chaque mois, on prenait 20 euros. Mais on se vit avec ça en ces temps. Pour 
previous law that of course weren't the best law in general, but there are some kind of spaces uh, to protect people if they were in Italy since a lot of time. Now this possibility is completely over. The Meloni government used immigration and asylum and refugees a lot uh, during her political campaign. And now that she has been elected, uh, certain things changed and certain negative impacts were seen. The first immigration decree that was released during her government in January 2023 was against the NGOs conducting search and rescue in the Mediterranean. So imposing a new code of conduct which were more difficult and could limit their impact for saving lives at sea. The special protection has been changed again. People cannot seek special protection directly in Questura, as it was possible before, but only through the international protection procedure. And the, permit, the special protection permits now are no longer convertible into work permits, and these pose a serious risk to the life path of a person. Meloni government has changed also the, the rules on reception conditions and accommodation. So asylum seekers no longer can enter into the reception centers of the SAI system unless they have manifest vulnerabilities. Another thing that occurred during the Meloni government is the expansion of the list of so-called um, safe countries of origin. And of course the infamous uh, protocol with Albania to try to externalize the asylum and the, the immigration uh, obligations into another um, state, a third country, so outside the European Union, to prove once again that the burden of, of migrants and asylum seekers and refugees is much more than one, what actually is. Most people don't know that asylum seekers live on the streets and uh, despite possessing a temporary permit cannot find a work with a contract or that some of them are almost enslaved uh, without a contract working in rich families in the northern uh, neighborhoods of this city. One misconception is that uh, migrants come here to steal the work, is one of the phrases that we heard a lot. Uh, we don't speak a lot about the exploitation of the migrants in the, in the fields, in the countryside, for example, when they work. And so the phrase is they steal work, but they don't explain which kind of work and in which condition they make this. The migrant and the asylum seeker doesn't steal anything from the poor Italian citizen or the Italian citizen in general. I think that their discrimination is hard to be seen by the civil society because they have no places or no level where they meet actually or they are seen. I have also in France here, because I have gastric disease. gastric disease. Chaque mois j'étais au hôpital. Là où je suis, en ce moment, je n'ai pas de docteur. Aussi encore là où je travaille, même si je suis malade, je suis obligé de partir au travail parce que je n'ai pas, euh, pas de certificat pour les maladies, pour envoyer au travail. Beaucoup des Italiens, ils sont là, ils sont de leur maison, donc Il y a leur papa, il y a leur maman. Nous, les immigrants, on n'est pas des papas ici, on n'est pas des mamans. Donc, si on va manger, on, va, on doit travailler. Si on va dormir bien, on doit travailler. It's important to integrate people. It's important to get integrated for every one of us. So, refugee and migrant are not an exception. Not integrate people, we know, doesn't take to anything good. We saw it. Just keep people separate, keep people vulnerable. It's worse for them, it's worse for um, who stay in their 
nice area in their bubble. Le persone vengono abbandonate nel loro percorso dalle istituzioni e eh, nell'essere abbandonate ovviamente poi finiscono in una condizione di emarginazione e quindi eh, maggiore contatto con reti criminali, eh, maggiore contatto con situazioni di sfruttamento eh, di vario tipo. Persone che sono escluse dalla società, persone che eh, si trovano a rischio di sfruttamento lavorativo, di marginalizzazione, perché non hanno la possibilità di accedere ad una serie di diritti fondamentali come il diritto alla salute, al lavoro, all'istruzione, alla casa e eh, quindi eh, diciamo, queste norme sono sempre state chiamate appunto decreti sicurezza, cioè in Italia c'è molto eh, l'associazione la tra la parola immigrazione e la parola sicurezza, però in realtà eh, non, diciamo, non c'è nessun investimento sulla sicurezza sociale, cioè sulle misure di welfare, di inclusione e sul, sull'estensione dei diritti, ma piuttosto sulla restrizione dei diritti. Another misconception I think is that people that arrive with a boat are choosing to arrive to the boat and they are risking because they have chosen to risk and no one explained that is a big problem of uh, visa and passport that not all the passports are the same uh, people don't risk their life because they want but because they don't have alternative they don't have safe passages they don't have a legal way to come the system doesn't work the system doesn't work because it works just in destroying people because he come again in Italy even if he cannot he doesn't care he come again he finish again in detention center detention center are not considered prison by the law because if they were considered a prison by the law we will have some right but also some activity because i have to share with you that people sometimes they told us detention center are worse than prison because at least in prison there is something to do detention center are not officially considered prison but the same because they are closed and surrounded by police uh, police army so they are closed of course Disons, la plupart des gens, ils respectent les autres cultures. Moi, depuis que je suis rentré ici, je n'ai pas eu de problème avec quelqu'un. Je n'ai jamais eu de problème avec euh, quelqu'un. Il y a des autres racistes, il y a des autres qui ne sont pas racistes. Il y a des autres qui veulent seulement te provoquer, mais il faut les ignorer. Il y en a. Mais ils sont petits, pas nombreux. The Italian society know that um, you can scream a lot, you can uh, tell that you will build borders and build uh, walls, but at the end it's not really possible. The Italian society is more welcoming than the government that uh, Italy has, but we can see this on with the little communities, especially with the local communities on the territory, if there is a good work of communication, a good work of interaction between people. Et je travaille ici. Dieu merci. Ce que je gagne, j'ai économie avec ça. L'essentiel, là où tu es, il faut travailler. Il faut travailler. Quand tu as eu le travail, c'est ça qui est l'essentiel. Donc, j'ai mon travail, je me débrouille. En futur, je vais rester en Italie. La première chose, j'ai envoyé ma, ma femme ici parce que je suis marié. Je voulais envoyer ma femme avec moi vivre en Italie. Je suis encore pour euh, vivre ici avec ma famille. Cercer de bleu, bon bleu et travail. Ça.